So I know we're gonna take a look at the weather, but tell me, Taylor, do you have any plans or anything going on? I might go to the fair tomorrow. <laughs> it's definitely drying out, so I think that I'll do that. What about you, Bree? Yeah, I think I'm gonna check out the fair too, especially, you know, since it was canceled last year. Yeah, exactly. And for this week, it's gonna be a great day to go to the fair. Here's a live look outside using our radar. Notice that we're not really seeing much in the way of rain as we head through today and this morning. Most of that rain is definitely staying to our east. That green stuff you see is just radar scatter, radar noise, nothing to worry about. We do have some areas of concern, though, as we head towards fog, and that's mainly for our southern counties. So Scotland, Vidalia, Cordill, all dealing with fog this morning, about four miles of visibility. So if you're driving today and you're heading through this morning, make sure you're using your low beams, taking your time. It will be very hard to see in front of you again. This is just for the morning will clear out by today. The reason we saw all this rain anyways is because of this low pressure system right here. That was a cutoff flow that couldn't have been steered anywhere. And so finally something pushed it out of the way and we're under the dominance of this high pressure system. It's bringing drier, nicer air into our forecast for the next seven days. So enjoy it because all of that rain really got my mood down. But now I'm happy because we have the sunshine coming back for today. Here's a future view showing you where we could see maybe a scattered rain shower or two, but mainly staying dry for your Saturday morning. Temperatures are will be in the 60s and will warm up to the 70s by lunchtime as we head towards this afternoon. Our eastern counties will be the first ones to see a couple of rain scattered showers. Otherwise, we're staying pretty dry throughout the day. Temperatures will be in the upper 70s to low 80s. And then we'll do the same thing as we head towards your Sunday. Sunday morning will be dry temperatures in the 60s as well. We'll warm up to the 70s by lunchtime with that nice breeze from the northeast. Again, staying dry for your Sunday. A very nice pattern change after you picked up almost 10 inches here in Macon. Your weekend forecast is looking like this. The sunshine returns today with temperatures in the low 80s. And we'll do the same thing as we head towards your Sunday with temperatures again, the low 80s and a much drier day. Looking long range, this is where you'll be excited as well. We'll have some drier air still filtering into our area. Tuesday afternoon will be dry as well. We will have a few clouds, maybe could pick up some rain for our North Georgia friends, but otherwise here in Central Georgia, we're staying relatively dry. Then we'll have this nice little frontal system trying to push through as we head towards the Wednesday afternoon, but we are still staying dry here and it will start to break apart before it even heads towards us. So Thursday we'll have more cloud cover, but still remaining dry, still getting some pockets of sunshine in here as well. And we'll do the same thing as we head towards your Friday. So an absolutely beautiful weekend week and weekend on tap for us here in Central Georgia. Enjoy it because I know the rain probably gave you a headache. Seven day forecast is looking like this Saturday. We do have a 10% chance of rain, especially for our eastern counties, but mostly sunny skies as we head through the week. A good time to have that holiday weekend and a great time to go to the fair as we do head towards those times. Again, this is the first weekend of the fair, so go out and enjoy it because I know the rain probably bogged you down.